Are you struggling to achieve ketosis despite following a strict keto diet? You're tracking your macros, hitting your protein goals, and keeping those carbs low, but something's just not clicking. The truth is there are some hidden factors that could be silently sabotaging your keto journey. In today's video, we're uncovering 10 hidden reasons why you're not achieving ketosis and what you can do to finally reach your goals. Stick around to the very end for some valuable tips that can make all the difference in your keto journey. It's time to unlock the full potential of ketosis and start seeing the amazing results you deserve. Let's talk about hidden carbs. Carbs can be sneaky, lurking in places you'd least expect. We all know to avoid the obvious culprits like bread, pasta, and sugary treats, but what about those hidden carbs in processed foods and sauces? Many condiments, salad dressings, and even processed meats can contain added sugars and starches that quickly kick you out of ketosis. Think about it. You're diligently measuring out your macros for that delicious chicken stir-fry, but are you accounting for the sugar content in the teriyaki sauce? Or maybe you're enjoying a salad, thinking it's a healthy choice, but that low-fat dressing you slathered on top is loaded with hidden sugars. Even seemingly healthy options like protein bars and yogurt can be packed with hidden carbs. Always read the labels. Don't fall victim to clever marketing tactics. Pay close attention to the total carbohydrate count and the sugar content. Opt for whole unprocessed foods whenever possible. By being mindful of these hidden carbs, you'll be well on your way to achieving and maintaining ketosis. Now let's talk about a topic that often gets demonized but is absolutely crucial for keto success, fat. That's right, fat is your friend on keto. When you drastically reduce carbohydrates on a ketogenic diet, your body needs an alternative fuel source, and that's where fat steps in. Fat provides your body with ketones, those energy powerhouses that keep you going when you're running low on glucose. But here's the thing, if you're not eating enough fat, your body might not fully transition into ketosis. You see, your body needs a certain amount of fat to feel satisfied and to signal to your metabolism that it's okay to shift into fat-burning mode. Think avocados, nuts and seeds, fatty fish like salmon and olive oil. Embrace the fat. It's what's going to fuel your body and help you thrive on a ketogenic diet. All right, let's address another common misconception about keto protein. Yes, protein is essential for building and repairing tissues, but more protein doesn't always equal better results, especially on keto. When you consume more protein than your body needs for its immediate needs, something called gluconeogenesis can occur. Essentially, your body can convert excess protein into glucose, which is the primary fuel source we're trying to avoid on a ketogenic diet. Instead of loading up on protein shakes and protein bars, Focus on getting adequate protein from whole food sources like meat, poultry, fish, and eggs. Aim for a moderate protein intake and prioritize healthy fats. You need both, but in the right proportions to build a strong and sustainable keto foundation. The power of hydration on keto. Let's talk about the importance of hydration, especially on a ketogenic diet. When you're in ketosis, your body sheds water weight rapidly, especially in the initial stages. This is because glycogen, the stored form of glucose, binds to water in your body. As your glycogen stores deplete on keto, so does the water bound to them. This rapid water loss, while initially contributing to weight loss, can also lead to dehydration if you're not careful. Dehydration can manifest in many ways, including fatigue, headaches, constipation, and even stalls in weight loss. To stay properly hydrated on keto, aim to drink plenty of water throughout the day. A good rule of thumb is to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water daily, Proper hydration is key for optimal bodily functions, including fat metabolism and ketone production. Stress less, keto more. Let's face it, stress is a part of life. But did you know that chronic stress can wreak havoc on your keto efforts? When you're constantly stressed, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is often referred to as the stress hormone and for a good reason. While cortisol is essential for survival in short bursts, Chronically elevated cortisol levels can lead to a cascade of negative effects on your body, including insulin resistance, increased fat storage, and difficulty achieving ketosis. Stress can also lead to cravings for sugary and processed foods, further sabotaging your keto progress. Managing stress is crucial for overall well-being and keto success. Incorporate stress-reducing activities into your daily routine, such as yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Remember, a calm mind translates to a happy and healthy body, making it easier to achieve and maintain ketosis. Sleep your way to ketosis. Let's talk about the importance of sleep. Sleep is often overlooked, 
but it's just as crucial for your health and well-being as diet and exercise. When it comes to keto, sleep plays a vital role in regulating your hormones, including those involved in hunger, metabolism, and fat storage. When you're sleep-deprived, your body produces more of the hunger hormone ghrelin and less of the satiety hormone leptin. This hormonal imbalance can lead to increased cravings, particularly for high-carb and sugary foods, making it harder to stick to your keto goals. Prioritizing sleep is one of the best things you can do for your overall health and your keto journey. There are some seemingly innocent foods that can actually hinder your progress. These foods might be low in carbs but contain certain compounds that can interfere with ketone production or slow down your metabolism. One such culprit is artificial sweeteners. While they may seem like a good alternative to sugar, some artificial sweeteners can actually trigger an insulin response in your body, which can kick you out of ketosis. Another group of foods to be mindful of are processed vegetable oils, such as soybean oil, canola oil, and corn oil. These oils are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which can promote inflammation in the body. Opt for healthier fat sources like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, and grass-fed butter or ghee. Pay attention to how your body responds to different foods and make adjustments as needed. Let's talk about medications and supplements. While these can be incredibly beneficial for various health conditions, it's important to be aware that some medications and supplements can affect your ability to achieve ketosis. Certain medications, such as corticosteroids and some antidepressants, can interfere with blood sugar regulation and hormone levels, potentially hindering ketosis. If you're on any medications, it's crucial to consult with your doctor or a qualified healthcare professional before starting a ketogenic diet or making any significant dietary changes. They can help you determine if keto is appropriate for you and advise you on any potential interactions with your medications. Let's talk about the importance of consistency, particularly when it comes to your eating schedule. Our bodies thrive on routine, and establishing a regular eating pattern can make a world of difference in your keto journey. When you eat at irregular intervals or go for prolonged periods without eating, it can disrupt your blood sugar levels and hormone balance, making it more challenging for your body to transition into and maintain ketosis. Establish a regular eating schedule that works for your lifestyle and stick to it as closely as possible, even on weekends. Remember, consistency is your ally in achieving and maintaining ketosis, so find a rhythm that works for you and make it a habit. This journey is personal and your body knows best. Pay attention to the signals it's sending you and don't hesitate to make adjustments along the way. One of the most important things you can do is tune in to your hunger and fullness cues. Eat when you're genuinely hungry and stop when you're satisfied, not overly full. Don't be afraid to experiment with different foods and see how your body responds. Some people thrive on a higher fat, lower protein approach, while others do better with a moderate protein, moderate fat ratio. Keep a food journal or use a tracking app to monitor your food intake energy levels, and any symptoms you experience. Trust your instincts, listen to your body, and don't be afraid to adjust your approach as needed. We've uncovered 10 hidden reasons why you might not be achieving ketosis, from hidden carbs and insufficient fat intake to stress, lack of sleep, and even the impact of certain foods, medications, and supplements. Achieving ketosis is not just about following a strict diet. It's about understanding the intricate ways in which our bodies respond to different stimuli and making adjustments accordingly. By addressing these hidden factors, incorporating the tips and strategies we've discussed, and most importantly, listening to your body, you can overcome these obstacles and unlock the amazing benefits of a ketogenic lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more informative content, and share it with your friends and family who might benefit from this information.